Last report, Miami listed nine players as questionable for the game Sunday, while New England listed 14 players as questionable for Sunday's game. Dolphins' Friday full injury report include players limited practice and listed as questionable. Include Salvin Ahmed, Jerome Baker, Eric Flowers, Mike Jasicki, Jakeem Grant, Bobby McCain, Devontae Parker, Alandon Roberts, Kyle Van Noy. Players full practice include Kevin Frazier, Xavier Howard, Austin Jackson, Solomon Kinley, Shaq Lawson, Tua Tungavailoa. Thus the most notable names and definitely coming out this Sunday include QB Tua Tungavailoa, Xavier Howard. While tactical cards like Mike Jasicki, Jakeem Grant, Devontae Parker or Kyle Van Noy are still questionable. If these players do not recover soon, it will be a huge disadvantage for the Miami Dolphins in the race for the playoffs this season. But Dolphin has a lot of advantages before the match with the Patriots. Head coach Brian Flores is very familiar with the Patriots, spending his entire professional career with the organization until joining the Dolphins in 2019. This week, he provided his take on the tough test that lies ahead for the Dolphins. They are well coached. They do a good job in situational football, Flores said. They run the football well. Cam Newton is athletic and he, just as far as extending plays and giving his receivers time to get open, he's done a very good job at that this season. Defensively, they've got a lot of good players, they limit big plays and they make it hard for offenses. I think they've done a very good job in the kicking game. It's a good team. They play well in all three phases and this is going to be a tough test for us. Center Ted Karras is also familiar with this week's opposition, as he was drafted by the Patriots. Rather than looking back at the Week 1 game against New England, Karras is studying the studying more recent, relevant film. I think it's hard translating from Week 1. Obviously there's still some of the cast of characters, but everyone's been season-hardened now, Karras said. We're three months into the season. Everyone's evolved, like you said, and put little nuances in. I already went back and watched that game, but I'm really more focused on what they've done the past six weeks and they're probably doing the same for us. Along the offensive line, veteran Jesse Davis broke down what makes the Patriots pass rush a challenge. They do a good job spacing wise and disguising some things they do, Davis said. They have some big bodies, they've got fast guys. For us, it's staying together, not setting too far away from each other and keeping Tua clean but not getting picked. On the other side, Emmanuel Ogba talked about the Patriots' offensive line, particularly tackles Jermaine Aluemunor and Michael Onwenu and the challenges he'll face trying to track down Patriots quarterback Cam Newton. They're big strong guys and they want to grab you, Ogba said. You have to have a good rush plan for them and try to get their hands off you.